Hey everyone, this is Garrett from GS Lighting Solutions and today I'm going to show you how to use the Camsys Magic Q PC. Now I'm going to show you how to um, go ahead and create some uh, cues and stack them in your faders. So let's go ahead and we'll just turn on some lights. Turn on those ones as well. Alright. Just change the colors. All right, now we got our sit look set. We're gonna go here and hit record, and then we'll hit select. And you can see right here, it says CS1, so Q stack one. You double click on it, shows you the options of what that Q, what the attributes are. So Q ID number one, wait, follow, have a, you can have a delay, a fade, um, Q, block FX, all that kind of stuff. So right here in the timing, you have two different options. You have a chase and you have a queue. What the chase allows you to do is it allows you to build multiple different queues on your queue list and run it as a program. Um, and so right now we're just gonna leave it as a queue. All right, so now that that's set, Let's go ahead and go back and let's go ahead and just do a few more, more colors and get a few more things set up. I'm just doing magenta there. Right. So now that that look is done, we just hit record and see if two in that. Now, as you can tell, we have two cues. So you can continuously just add up your cues and make it into a list. So as you can see, it automatically changed the timing from a queue to a chase. So you can set up each individual um, fader as either a program or a chase, or you can set it up to where you can manu manually control each queue within the stack. So let's go ahead and just add one more one more different look. Amber, do a color on this. Okay. Let's just do a bold. There we go. So I'll just hit record one more time. one more time and then save. Right. So if you end up doing what I just did and create an extra queue that you didn't need, you can always just select a queue that you want and you can hit remove queue. It says remove queue ID number four. Are you sure? Hit yep. And there you go. You have three different queues. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select all these and go to queue. Change them over to Q. So now it gives me the option to do fade times, delays. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the fade times two seconds. Two seconds. Okay. So now that we have our fade times set, now we're ready to go ahead and play. So let's go back to our menu and clear it out. So as you can see, we have it all faded in. So now when we hit our next cue, there you go. And we hit our next cue again. And let's go ahead and just change these over to, to Chase and see what it looks like.
Now I just hit play and it changed it to the chase. Now you have a chase scene set up. So now all you have to do is just fade these out and you're done. Now that you've faded it out, your cue, as you can tell, since there's no button selected, it has released it already. And that's the basics on building cues. You can also build multiple stacks all the way along with thousands of steps on each one. So you have unlimited possibilities and unlimited um, capabilities. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, please hit the thumbs up down below. Also, please subscribe to get more content. Have a good day.